chase right around noon led deputies to suspects they believe may be responsible for several robberies at businesses all across town. You saw the chase in right here on Channel 2 News during our noon newscast. It ended in the area of FM 1960 and Mills Road. Channel 2's Sion Rhodes was the first reporter on the scene. She's live now in Northwest Harris County at one of those businesses that may have been targeted, Sion. And Harris County deputies, Lauren, have been desperate to catch these guys for the last two weeks. They finally got their break today when a group of suspects robbed this T-Mobile cell phone store, taking phones that had tracking devices. A two-week-long crime spree came to an end Wednesday. It was a lot of action early this morning. Investigators on the hunt for a group of armed robbers who held up at least 19 donut shops and other businesses since May 4th. The group working the corridor along Spring Cypress Road and 249. They were getting up earlier in the morning than I wasn't. A worker at the Shipley's on Spring Cypress didn't want to be identified, but told us two men barged in, jumping the counter and pushing down a manager before getting away with 300 bucks. The, the pattern was morning, but then they they started changing it up. They were hitting at 11 o'clock, and then they were hitting at night too. I mean it. It's, they've been busy. I don't know when they were sleeping. Then just before noon today, three men robbed a T-Mobile on Jones Road, but one of the stolen cell phones had a tracker. Uh, they uh, activated the tracker and notified our dispatch. Our deputies got behind the vehicle. The suspects crashed in this drainage ditch, two arrested, but a third ran to a nearby complex where deputies found him in an apartment with two other men they were looking for. He led us to two of our suspects from the donut robberies. They had uh, one guy right here on the bottom with dog bites and the second guy here, they were just now pulling him out the house and they had him standing up and a couple of cops ran up to the top and they put him in handcuffs. I'm glad we got him today. That's all I can say. I'm very glad. I'm, citizens of Harris County should be glad as well. So in all, five men in custody today, but investigators say the case is not over. They believe there could be more suspects connected to this crime ring. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.